Father. Hear my prayer. Thou hast given me thy cause to defend here. Thy precious word to uphold. Thou hast entrusted my brothers, thy dear children, into my hands. These unworthy hands. Thou art my shield. Thou art my fortress. Let it be granted to me, Master, in my hour of need. What word to say for it? In Jesus' name. Amen. if I lack the manners that befit this court. I was not brought up in king's palaces, but in the seclusion of a cloister. I am asked to retract these writings, but they are of different kinds. In some, I discuss faith and good works. If I were to retract these, I should be denying accepted Christian truths. In others, I attack popery and assail men who have afflicted the Christian world and ruined the bodies and souls of other men. If I were to retract those, I should be like a cloak that covers evil. Most serene emperor, illustrious princes, noble lords, I am only a man and not God. But I must defend myself as did Jesus Christ when he said, as I say now, if I have spoken evil, bear witness against me. Martin Luther, you have not yet answered the question. Give us a simple answer. Will you recant, or will you not? You ask for a simple answer. Here it is. Unless you can convince me by scripture and not by popes or councils who have often contradicted each other, unless I am so convinced that I am wrong, I am bound to my beliefs by the text of the Bible. My conscience is captive to the word of God. To go against conscience is neither right nor save. Therefore, I cannot and I will not repent. Here I stand. I can do no other. God help me. Amen. Who is this monk to go against the church and against me? I should have seized him right then and there and had him. Yet he was under my safe conduct. I could not go back on my word. Your illustrious majesty, may I say that not even an emperor need keep his oath to a heretic. One day we give him. After that, his book shall be wiped from the memory of man. His followers, whoever they may be, shall be condemned. And this loser himself, he shall be under our curse. No man shall harbor him, no man protect him. I declare him hereby outlaw. 
free to be hunted, free to be seized by anyone, anywhere. Then to be done to death at will. journey back to Wittenberg, when armed horsemen spirited Martin Luther away, few knew that this had been arranged by Duke Frederick, who was fearful for Luther's safety. for the heretic, now condemned by Pope and Emperor. During his ten months of exile, Luther completed his translation of the New Testament. What language is this, sir? Greek? Yes. I don't know Greek. Don't you read it all? Oh, yes, sir, but only in our own language. Look at this. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Those are the words of Jesus in the New Testament. You see, our German larks can be made to sing as sweetly as any Latin or Greek nightingale. You have never realized that Luther was more than a, a theologian with a few doctrinal differences between him and Rome. He was the leader of a movement. Because he is gone, must the movement be abandoned? Luther was a guide, not a leader. He wanted us to follow pure Christian truth, not men. But Luther named a man to teach that truth. Yourself, I suppose. No. You. Even before he left for Warbens, he told me. Kalstad, my life means nothing. I don't care what happens to me as long as Melanchthon lives to carry on. Now, what have you done? I've taught, I've written, I've prayed. What more do you want? Action. I am about to introduce certain reforms. You call this reform? What do you call it? Revolution. You wonder, brothers, how I dare appear to you as a priest with none of the priestly robes. Believe me, you will see more surprising things than these from me. 
For we are no longer bound by the rule of Rome. Luther has smashed our shackles. Confessions, vestments, candles, beads. We have no need of them. Down with them all. Nuns and friars, fast days and vigils. Down with these useless trimmings. Brothers, we need only faith. Our faith. We are on the march. And what stands in our way must go. misunderstanding me. I'm trying to cleanse the church. The people want action. Am I to blame if they go too far? If they go too far, who leads them on? At least I have done something. I beg you both. Let us have peace. We all seek the same goal. The kingdom of God. Can we not work toward it together? What would you like, sir? My pulpit. Martin, who gave you permission to return? Nobody. Thank God you've come back. At last we'll have peace in Wittenberg. Peace. What have you done to bring it about? Any of you? Nothing. And as for you, after what you brought about, there isn't room for you in Wittenberg. Get out of my sight. As you wish, Dr. Luther. upon the crucifix. How dare you defile something that might help a man with his devotion? What about your faith? What about your love? I tell you, the fruit of the gospel is not only righteousness, it is love. Christians, here is how I must use my freedom. I must give myself to my neighbor. As Jesus Christ in love gave himself to me. I must do nothing in life that is not needful to my neighbor. Because through faith I have all that I need myself. 